Hey guys, it's Bridgette with Sandy Seed Company, and welcome to September in Southern California. So I'm here in the garden, and I'm gonna show you what a September garden looks like in Southern California. We're here in San Diego, obviously, and you can see things are really starting to kind of fade. Uh, part of it's because I've got seed production going, but the biggest reason why the garden's really starting to, to not look so great right now is because we are in a transition season. So let's think about what happens in September. The days are getting shorter and the nights are getting cooler, okay? So your warm season crops like your tomatoes, your watermelons, your um, eggplants, your peppers, all of those things are really starting to fail. And that's okay. I'm sure you've gotten tons of things out of your garden and as hard as it might be, if they're really not producing anymore and they're starting to get diseased or you know, really just taking up space in your garden and not doing anything, get them out of there. Especially if you have a really small garden, no reason to hang on to a plant to get one tiny little cherry tomato if you can pull them out and put in next season's crops, which let's talk about what those are. So right now, garden looks pretty terrible. You know, plants are fading. I've got tons of stuff that just is not really doing anything anymore. Um, like, let's look at our peppers. Our peppers look terrible. But they've also given, given me so many peppers. I'm over it. I don't want to eat them anymore. I've been giving them away. But look, they look terrible because they've been in the ground since the spring. And I have gotten pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of peppers off of these. So they need to come out so that we can put in cool season crops. So. While these are fading, I'm actually going to be doing seed starting on the farm for fall and winter, which means broccoli, so all of your brassicas, cabbage, cauliflower, your root crops, all of those things are going to get started so that I can put them in the ground um, so that they can thrive in the cool season. And now, I know that it's really hard to think about starting your cool season crops in August because it's or September because it's so hot, but let's just think about why we would do that. So in the spring, you start your seeds when it's still really cold. And you do that so that they're ready to go in the ground when it's warm enough. Flip that over and the same thing happens in the fall. So we're starting them now, even though it's really hot and your brassicas and your lettuces and all of those things, they like cool weather, but you want them to be to a good enough size and healthy enough that when we actually do get cool here, you can put them in the ground. If you wait to start your seeds in, in November or December, you're already getting a little too late uh, for the cool season. In Southern California, our cool season is very short. Our warm season is very long. So you gotta play that game and make the best, uh, make the most out of those seasons as you can. So we're in Southern California, so our warm season garden goes well into September. If you're in zone three, four, you have to look up those dates for when your first frost is, but you can still feel the change in the air. Days are getting shorter, nights are getting cooler. The same thing is happening, but it might happen sooner for you if you're in a different zone. So here's a good example. Let's look at these tomatoes. They've given us pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of tomatoes, but they look terrible now. They're, they are getting powdery mildew and they are really just not keeping up with the energy that they need to produce more tomatoes. And it's partly because the days are getting short. They're not getting enough sunlight. Um, it's getting cooler. So instead of trying to fix this plant, I'm gonna honor it and say thank you for the pounds of tomatoes you've given me. Now you're out of here. I'm pulling it out. I'm not gonna compost it because it is diseased. Uh, and I'm gonna put something more seasonally appropriate here. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our sweet pea seeds soon and we cover this trellis in sweet peas and it's just really beautiful. So. It's important to know your seasons, know what grows when, and plant the most seasonally appropriate crops. Your garden will be so much happier, I promise. Now let's think about what you wanna do next. Well, you wanna pull out plants that are almost done, and you know, it's okay if you, if you don't have every area planted all the time. You can give the earth a rest, it's okay. But remember, when you switch in between plants, it's always important to amend. So you wanna replenish all the energy that your plants sucked out of the ground. We do that with compost. We do that with um, worm castings. Depending on your soil and your area, it might be different for you. But you wanna put back into the earth what you took out so that next year's plants can really thrive. That's the most important. We also do tons of weeding. 
you know, we pull out all this stuff that has really started to take over while we've been so busy harvesting and just really take time to, to honor the soil and, and make sure that next season our plants are gonna grow really well. Okay, so for here in Southern California, the thing that I harp on all the time is mulch, 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 mulch. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing it, but it makes a really big difference because we're in a semi-arid area. So let me clarify what it means to mulch. So you can see here, this is my walkway. This is my nine inch walkway and I have mulch in the middle and then I have my planting rows here. So if I wasn't going to plant anything in this row, I would be perfectly happy to cover this up with mulch. But when I go to plant, I'm gonna have to pull that mulch back so that I can add my compost into the planting mix or into the soil to plant my plants. So if you get a little bit of mulch mixed in with your soil, perfectly okay. But in general, the mulch is supposed to go around the plants and in the walkways and it's supposed to conserve moisture in the ground. A lot of you have heard of um, lasagna mulching. Great, pro great process. We did it here at the beginning of building our farm. We don't do it anymore because our soil is already much more mature. But like this is pine mulch, which we really love because it doesn't break down very easily. So I wouldn't want this mixed in my soil because it takes forever to break down. But in my walkways, it's fabulous. It's not gonna break down very quickly. I'm gonna have a nice clean walkway. It's gonna help me keep weeds down. But I wouldn't mix this into your actual planting soil. So kind of differentiate that, where you're planting your plants and your walkway, two different things. Okay, so in September, remember, the seasons are changing and so is your garden. Plants live in conjunction with the seasons. So keep that in mind. Plants are gonna be winding down. Some things are gonna to be toast. If you're a brand new gardener and your soil's not great, by September, your plants literally might be fried. That's okay. As your soil gets better and you become a better gardener, you'll be able to get your plants to grow a little bit longer into fall. But as a general rule of thumb, the seasons are changing and so is your garden. And that's okay. Take this time to take a much needed break, start your cool season crops, and be thankful for the beautiful garden you got.